Hey guys, and welcome back to more Steam World Dig 2. There's a couple people around the world we can talk to here, so we'll start with Pai Nuzak. I heard you've been digging real down deep there, partner. That's been looking for my friend, and he might be down there. Sometimes I think I'd like to get out of this Kogon town and visit some new places. Then I hear talking dangerous jungles growing underground. I start to think about all the secrets and dangers that lie hidden down below. My heart starts a fluttering, and I get all weak in the knees. Dang on my spurs, eh? Ain't the most yellow belly pony I've ever made my eyes on. I see. Oh, I didn't notice that. Yeah, he is like a. He is kind of like a horse, man. A lot of people are kind of anthropomorphic if you haven't caught on. Like, um, this, like, Ma's kind of a, like a classic robot. Her son's more kind of android. We have a claw man. I don't know if he's really anthropomorphic, he's kind of just like Bob the Builder, like an Indiana Jones. So, not too many anthropomorphic, but a little bit. Nothing to say there, so we'll, we'll talk to the professor. My colleague of mine was able to get some samples from the Tubsarian jungle. It's strange. Isn't it very dangerous? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Anyway, so to find trace of some mutagen polluting the biology of the plants. Seems like they get their energy from drinking the mutagenic moon juice that the Shires are obsessed with. There are a lot of pipes running around that place. Could definitely be the source of the pollutant. Oh, so the moon juice kind of comes around full circle. So is this one person to talk to down here as well? Apparently those Junker brothers saw a strange Junker going in the mines. Who had sprained too. Later that come near no time. Might invest in a proper axe just in case. It's a multi-purpose tool after all. Well there we go. So We'll continue on here. I believe it's just the straight down we want to do here, so. Come on, let me go. There's nothing below the wall? I'm certain there was. Because this is pretty... Also with this map, we can find old stuff that we never actually collected, which is really awesome. So, just didn't see that. Oh, we should have got the hobo. We'll see. We'll see if it's even worth it. There's the hobo king upgrade that makes kind of some of this less useful orb more valuable. Is that something? I'm not sure. Okay. So anyway. I was certain that there was another checkpoint down here. But... If not, then that's not, but... Okay, so that's to their lair. I did a pretty good job of cleaning this out. I, I only missed that one Ironium. So... And then this, that's kind of where I stopped mining. Here, so I guess we didn't find the next... Shortcut. Nope. Not, not a problem. 5-3. Is the one the bottom one the base and the other one's the mount we're getting for it? I'm not sure. Oh Do we get I'm actually not sure what this is about. Unless we have Hobo King equipped at the moment. Okay, where's Hobo King? I thought it was in backpack. Oh, we do have Kobo King. So, gives eight six cash when you collect a low value resource. The more the value, the more money you get. Nothing for resources above seven. Okay, I didn't know I had Kobo King equipped, which is actually really good right now because a lot of these resources are kind of lower value resources. I do like to kind of do horizontally so I can get kind of all I want. Man, nice that we actually have Kobo King. Okay. So that's just a kind of a refill pool if you needed it. Okay. You just don't want that big boulder. Big boulders are really bad because they'll cr often crush the stuff you're trying to collect. Nice, we got a double. So yeah, the reason we did stop is because of these guys. Because they're... they do a lot of damage. But... 
but we can continue on. We have the, the pick that does a lot more damage as well, so it's a lot less. We don't have to hit them as many times. Oops. Since there's a pool of water here. Oh! I will have to go around. I could get that upgrade. I could re-equip it, but it's fine for the moment. We'll just continue. So this is that um, harder rock. If we got a couple more cogs, probably equip that one because it is quite handy. That one should destroy the bubble, the one above it. Perfect. So there's like a little shaft here. More mining outpost. Okay, well. Let these guys do their thing. Yeah. I'm not sure. I think that was just a cactus. I don't think it was an ore. So the secret of these is as long as it has some above it, you're still good to go. So let it do its blowing up thing. Oop. See, that's crushed. They're, that's a pretty dangerous one. Sometimes if they're... I don't really want to do that either. Um, whatever. There wasn't really a real nice way to do that one, so... Just let bygones be bygones. Okay, so... Like, hop over there. It's not actually the best way I could have done that. Oops. I should have done it so I could still kind of continue to mine and stuff, but... Topaz, I didn't get my duplication, but I guess that's fine. The one thing I can do... Whatever. You don't always have to blow them up. Oh, because that drops one. I always want to be careful dropping stuff. Oh, wait, you can actually just shoot with the hook. <laughs> Forgot about that. Oh, not in the space. So we have to go back around. Just mostly because we have this one iron and... I don't know, and then like one bloodstone, just a couple of one. Oh, I... Do have two cogs here actually as well. How much is it? Okay, no, it's only one. What? Oh no, you need two to improve wind up speed. Well, we'll, we'll see, because we're probably going to get more abilities here anyway, so it's kind of moot. The nice thing you get the seven plus you get its worth. So Hobo Kings actually gives you quite a bit of resources for kind of some of the lower level ones, so. Okay. I think just the mammoth backpack. Yeah, exactly. We definitely don't want to be circle of life. I'm totally not up with that. No, so the Clampton Damper and we will continue on. F has always returned you to your last outpost. Which is super handy. Um, so, I just want to confirm. You can't destroy these. Okay. That'd be a really odd kind of addition if you could. Because that's kind of being the those that's kind of the whole point of them. Is you have to kind of work around them. Oh yeah. So much easier if you can just kind of shoot them with your, your grappling hook. Oh, perfect. Okay. Probably. I didn't know that irritated them. I'll just do that as well. So, so now it winds down a lot slower as well. Um, guess it's pressure bombs. Whenever you do something like that, always shoot up just to see if there might be a secret entrance or something hidden there as well. What? Okay, I was gonna say, like, when I shot him, it should have kind of took him out, but it's fine. Okay. Whenever you destroy it underneath a cactus, it also destroys it, just as a note. Definitely do that. Two birds, one stone achievement. 
Kill two enemies with one crushing rock. Oh, fine with me. Oh crap! That was amazing. Okay, what happened is, if this would have fell on this rock, I would have been dead instantly. I jumped through just in time. The rock hit me, so it damaged me, but it did not kill me because I was out of the way before it hit the ground. That was That's amazing. I like that they added that to the game. So that won't crush anything in there. Just gonna take a risk here. So I'm quickly just going to mine up the Ross here. Because I want to pick up. Ah shit, that's not what I wanted to do, but... I don't think we lost anything because of it. Okay. Perfect. Collect. Okay. So probably... Oh. The nice thing about this too is I can look on the map and see if anything gets kind of destroyed or crushed or anything like that. I'll just drop straight there. That. Oh no, it shouldn't destroy. They've actually made it so resources aren't destroyed as near as often. Okay, there you go. And this is where I was from. And actually, nice enough, I can just fill up my water here, collect the piece of silver that I left here from before, and this should give me a nice kind of way down. Okay, so there's more ore over here that needs to be collected. Hmm. Anything down there? No, there's definitely nothing down there. I just don't want to be caught on that, so I'm just going to do it that way. Oop, this is actually... I could have came out from the totally opposite way because I already had this dog, but that's fine. Um, I was going to go at water, but we're actually not doing too bad on water. Okay. We're back to, we're back to these buddies. There you go, we fill up our water anyway because we have... I'm gonna let him do that because it actually lets me um, collect some stuff I wanted to. So because we got that thing, we can actually blow these up with pressure bombs now. So that upgrade's pretty critical in areas like this. Okay. How much XP is it for these guys? It's actually a pretty good amount of XP, I'd say. It's actually quicker to mine with the pick than it is to kind of hit it otherwise. Or hit it with the oh, kind of hammer. Okay. This isn't any kind of secret or anything. As long as you're not directly in the block, kind of, that was hit, you're for the most part fine. Okay. I just wonder if I could quickly stand on that to shoot, though. No. Normally they're 25, but if you kill them, um, with a pickaxe, with the thing, you get an extra five. So, okay, not enough space. Again, portal portal to the rescue. You have to let it. Okay. Sorry, what does it say about the portal pardon? Oh, because there's enemies nearby. So it's gonna kill these nearby enemies. And we'll be good to go. Okay, now we're good. 
yeah, I actually like that. That's pretty good. So, okay, so we will go and sell these resources here. Rocking amounts. Once you get the bigger bag, it really, really helps you get a lot more ore. So I think we're definitely gonna upgrade our bag. Oh, okay, because that's the last tier. Yeah, we'll get the Ivan, Ivan Drago. Why would I want to get that? Why is that an, even an advantage? It's kind of a less than optimum thing. Hoping that the that pick will significantly increase our mining speed. Or not that pick, but the hammer upgrade. Wait, we're gonna might take a little bit of damage here. Oh no, we didn't. It's pretty good. Okay. Kinda gotta make our way back to where we were. Oh yeah. This is way, way faster. So a def a definite movement. So killing these guys is just an XP farm, but I think it's because maybe because <laughs> I've been doing those other areas. So I'm much more powerful than I was before. Oops, I should have let him break that, cause then it would have broke that. But there's nothing above me anyway, so I'm not doing that. Word. Okay, I always find it weird that you can't kill enemies with the uh, jackhammer, but. We're actually getting quite a few blood drops. Which is nice because we have the hobo um, thing which gives us even more kind of resources. So like, I do like to kind of clear out areas while I'm in just to kind of save time later if I need to come back to it. Oh yeah, you needed you need the Ivan Drago if you're gonna come this way. You really do. Never really needed it though before this, so that's why I never upgraded it, but uh, that's, that's fine. Nice! That's interesting. Let's see here. Death ahead! That's a bit ominous. Anything here? No? Saved area uncovered. I knew there'd be something. Once you have the longer hook shot, it's significantly easier to do stuff like this. Oh yeah, no, that's that's where we came from. Just curious if there's anything on this side that I want. Okay, so it's from that side. This is fine. Oh, <laughs> I almost took off quite a bit of damage. So we're here already, so we'll quickly hop back up. So. Looks are pretty solid. But anyway guys, I think we'll call the episode here, and we'll be back in the next one for more Steam World Dig. Thanks guys. Later.